Hello guys! If you want to start detailing steel in advanced steel, this tutorial is for you. In few videos I will show you how to make a complete project from start to finish. I will show you entire procedure from setting up a new project to making a final set of drawings and also how to make revisions to your project. We will be making all of this based on maintenance steel platform for Chicago Transit Authority. In this video I will show you how to create beams. This is not a standard advanced steel project but because of that I have decided to share it with you. Once you get the idea how to detail this platform making any other project will appear super easy. Stick around and check out other videos in this playlist. Consider subscribing, don't forget to click the bell icon to be notified instantly whenever I upload a new video. The project file is available on my website for free, link in the description below. If you need to buy advanced steel software check out my link below to get a nice discount. Now we are in advanced skill. I have opened a project where I have a grid already drawn and levels created. You can get this file on my website. I've posted the link to the project file below the video. Feel free to download and open this file. We are going to create three W6 by 20 beams first. I made level 1 active. Level 1 is exactly beam height distance of 6 and 3 sixteenths of an inch from level 0. Choose a row I section. Now I clicked on the point where grid 1 and grid A intersect. Then I need to click where the beam ends on the intersection of the grid A and grid 3. Our first beam is in place. Now I need to specify what kind of beam it is. In the beam dialog box I have to choose W6 by 20 beam. In the positioning, I have to choose the top middle point. This is where my beam will be attached to the grid. As you can see, in 3D view, the beam is placed at the correct level, it's aligned with the level and the bottom of the beam below, which is level 0. Go to the top view again, choose a road eye section again. Place the beam on the grid B. Since it is the same beam, click enter to accept the settings. Choose a road section again. Place the beam on the grid C. Close the dialog box to accept the settings. Now let's place the W5 by 19 beams on the level below level 0. Choose level 0 in the model view. Run a new beam on the grid 1 from grid A to grid F. Choose W5 by 19 from the list and close dialog box. Now as you can see, in 3D view, beam is placed below the beams W6 by 20. Place the beams on grid 2 and grid 3. In 3D view, when you activate a level above, you can see our structure of the beams completed.
Now it's time to place remaining angles. L5 by 3.5 by half inch on level 1. Cups aligned with W6 by 20B. Choose level 1 in model view. Choose the road section again. Place it on corresponding grids. Choose in the dialog box angle. Then not identical. And then L5 by 3.5 by half inch. Close the dialog box. As you can see in 3D view, positioning of the angles needs to be adjusted so the angles are not upside down. Double click on an angle. Go to positioning. Adjust the offset and angle. The second angle is mirror. I change the offset of the Z axis by one and five eighths of an inch. Do the same for the remaining two angles.
displays the remaining four angles, with tabs aligned to W6 by 20. Make level 1 active. Choose a road eye section again. Place a structural member. Choose angle identical in the dialog box. Choose L3 by 3 by half inch. Adjust positioning of an angle. Let's move the angle to the approximate location. Now copy this angle. Let's mirror the side. Select both angles and copy them to the other side. All the beams are placed successfully. In the next tutorial, we will be creating columns for this project. Check it out!